And then we have May 21st, 2016. Ms. Heard testified that Mr. Depp threw a phone at her face, causing a visible injury. Ms. Heard has shown you pictures she claims to show this injury, but these photographs are not to be trusted. You heard from Mr. Neumeister that like many of the photographs Ms. Heard has presented in this case, these photos were stored in a photo editing application. And these photos show signs of manipulation. These two photographs were taken at the exact same time and have the exact same file name. But they are visually different. One shows significantly more redness on Ms. Hurd's face than the other, which doesn't show any injury at all. Ms. Hurd testified the difference is explained by turning on a light. But there is no way Ms. Hurd could have taken a picture, turned on a light, and then taken another picture with every hair in the exact same place within the same second. It's impossible. Moreover, you heard from multiple witnesses, including Officer Melissa Sines, Officer Tyler Haddon, and Officer William Gatlin, Isaac Baruch, Alejandro Romero, who saw Ms. Heard on or after May 21st and saw no injuries to her face before she showed up to that courthouse with a mark on May 27th. And the very next day after Ms. Heard walked into court with what appeared to be a bruise on her face to obtain a domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, Ms. Heard was photographed laughing with her best friend, fresh faced with no bruise on her face. The mountain of evidence that Mr. Depp abused Ms. Heard is simply not there. What we have is a mountain of unproven allegations that are wild, over the top, and implausible. And you can't pick and choose which of these wild allegations to believe and which ones to disregard. You either believe all of it or none of it.